Okay, we got the rockers all sanded down. Got the pins beat back into them, so those are ready to be worked on. So we're short one stud here and a couple dowel pins. Looks like we're missing two. So this head here I got, it's got a one stud in it and one dowel pin, so I'll scavenge it out of that. And this head here, I'll just steal one out of there. Unless I got one, I think I got one thing up on top over there I can use. Yeah, I got one over here, I'll just steal this one here. Now I gotta take the one head apart. Okay, so the way you get these apart is you take two, uh, two nuts, and you jam them together, and then I'll pull them apart. So to make it easy to tighten something, you just go like this. Put them together, just, your grip strength will tighten them up. You just go like this, squeeze, and they're tight. If you want to take them off, you go the other direction. Go like that, squeeze it that way. That way you're not trying to do this kind of thing when your hands nail stuff. Which is not fun. Now when you go take these off, come off the bottom nut. Coming. Definitely tight. Once it starts moving, you can probably come off the top. Now. All right, there you go. Come right out. Like butter. Okay, so now we have the good head. Let me put this under there. Off any corrosion we don't want on there. Knock off the high stuff anyway. Close enough. A little loose rust inside of the rocker block isn't going to make any difference. Now they use a stud installer with a the grip style. So you can see all the marks in there from how they did it. So I don't do it that way. So you get a little red Loctite. Put a little bit of that on the threads. A little bit in the hole. Screw it on down. Now you tighten the top nut. Make it the same height as all the other ones. It's a little bit over 1 400. I'm a little over 500 right now. Give it a turn, see what that does. Still. 480. Go back to leverage. That's about it. It's bottomed up. I think. No, it's still got more to go. It's just getting really hard to move. It's about the same height as the other ones now. About 1420. Okay, so now I'm going to take this one off. So if you just hold the wrenches like that, squeeze it like that, and it's off. Easy. Instead of chasing across the bench, trying to grab a hold of it or something. Okay. Wipe off the excess Loctite. And we're good to go. Okay, this one we're missing one dolphin right here. So 
you take the worst part, the worst of the dowel, and that goes into the head because you want the block to be able to slide on easily. Just tap it in with a punch and a hammer. If you use the hammer, you might damage the studs because you're going to hit on them. Okay, this one looks like it's up a little bit. Oop. Here it's solid, that means it's all the way down. Alright. So this head's good to go. This one over here. We're missing two, so we're still missing one. Do we have another one up here? Let's do my goodie pile. You always got to keep a good hardware sec selection here of miscellaneous crap you might need someday. So, you never know, you might need something that's up in here. I don't see any more of those dowel pins. There's a roller. You can use a roller too. Rod rollers, they work also. Same diameter. Alright, I don't see another one. Try to pull this one up here with a this one up to the dikes. Oh, right out. That was too easy. It's got original oil and muck on it still. Okay, we're gonna beat the rusty part into the head. That's kind of loose. Probably why it came out. Tight at the bottom. Two there, so we need one more. We don't have any more here. Let's see. <clears throat> There's one. Yeah, look what I found. Just happened to be laying around. Okay, now that head's complete. We're missing the studs for here, but we'll dig that in the later. I got new ones to go in those. Alright, so that's how you get your heads completed. You rob other heads. That works good. You buy expensive parts to steal parts from. See, this head's really nice. Yeah, no cracks. Should have used this one. Original exhaust port still on it. One little broken fin. There you go. That would have been better head. But oh well. Alright, we'll be back.